river that feeds in, that comes out of the mountains that feeds into the Lawa Lake that then heads down the Lawa River. It's beautiful and it's running strong and it's very cold. Ooh, mountain cold. Hello friends, we are four life adventure buddies, best friends, mother and daughter, and two wonder pups on a journey to find, appreciate, and share daily wonders and joys with the world. We are transitioning from a lifestyle based in a regular house into a traveling wooden tiny house RV. We have been busy turning our longtime dreams into our reality. It hasn't all been easy, so with a daily commitment to ourselves to seek Wonder out and appreciate wonders, we are learning that life really can be wonder-filled if we appreciate all the little and big wonderments along the way. We have been pouring a lot of effort into transforming this wooden tiny house on wheels into our inspiring, non-toxic and healthy home. We finally moved into our tiny house on a farm in Northwest Washington with spectacular mountain views. We weathered winter storms, marveled at wonderment inspiring migrating birds, and completed more tiny house DIY projects. After towing our wooden RV tiny house 450 miles to spend time in Northeast Oregon, we have officially become creative digital nomads with a traveling tiny house on wheels. We work full time from home, yet have the opportunity to have adventures in new places. Wonderment! As adventurers, filmmakers, artists, dancers, teachers, and writers on a mission to share inspiring wonders with the world, we have a whole lot of wonderment and tiny house adventures to share with you. In our last video episode adventure story, we drove through rolling hills, down into a canyon, along a river, through an emerald green valley with picturesque red barns on our quest to get to the mountains. When we arrived at the base of the Wallowa Mountains in the Eagle Cap Wilderness area of Northeast Oregon, we decided to journey to the top of one of the mountains. We ventured via tramway to the top of Mount Howard. When we arrived on top of the mountain, we felt like we had journeyed into the heart of Earth itself we felt enormous amounts of wonderment and radical amazement pulsing through our entire beings as we basked in the extraordinary natural wonder, history, and love that surrounded us everywhere. It was an adventure of epic proportion and beauty. Epic. It's so epic and special and memorable. It's like you don't, there's no words for it. If you're finding, if you're if you're looking for wonder, then there's a lot of wonder yes. to be found. And if you haven't watched it yet, you will want to. It's filled with all the ingredients that make something you watch really meaningful. It's filled with adventure, mystery, beauty, ah. adrenaline, dancing, awesome music, and lots of wonderment. The link to watch this adventure story we speak of is in the description below. Now, on to the experiences we are sharing with you in this video episode. You know those mountains we just told you about? Well, there is a most magical and very blue, completely natural mountain lake at the base of these mountains. It's called Wallawa Lake. Today, we are visiting the place where many of the waterfalls, mountain springs, creeks, and streams that turn into a river meets up with this lake. That's Wallawa Lake, a natural glacier-made lake. We are visiting Wallawa Lake State Park and the place where the Wallawa River pours into Wallawa Lake. This place could be quickly summed up to a really nice Oregon State Park and definitely something to add to your must-visit places or excellent RV trip destination. Or we could reveal to you its truths. 
Have you ever wondered what happens when you mix wilderness and love together? Well, the result of that matchup creates a lot of magic, surprises, and big wow moments presented in a dreamy picture book format. Here we are, witnessing this mountain river in all its untamed beauty. Sometimes the greatest treasures are right in front of us if we look closely and open our minds to seeing its glory. We are in a park with picnic tables, and yet we are also in a place exploding with magical surprises. We're at the river that feeds in, that comes out of the mountains, that feeds into Wallawa Lake, that then heads down the Wallawa River. It's beautiful, and it's running strong, and it's very cold, cool, mountain cold. It's a tree! It's a tree wonderment. So beautiful. so beautiful down here at the state park. The river has come over the, the edge and is weaving through the trees, but it looks like it's been doing it for some time. Yeah. And, and so I guess these trees have adapted to it. I don't know the whole story, but it's beautiful. It's so lush and green and the water and the sound of the river and then the trees are just like so strong and mighty and, and it's just like, it feels like paradise. It's Wonder Ice. I like at the end of Malawa Lake. And it's a wonderment. It's a wonderment. Wonderment. <laughs> Have you ever stopped and listened to the sound of a stream babbling or the sound of leaves whispering in the wind? It is incredible what you hear and see, smell, feel, and nearly taste when you pause to soak in the glory of nature. When you quiet your mind and just listen, look and feel, you notice tiny, awe-inspiring details that are easily missed in life's busy daily schedules. Being in the presence of the life-giving power of water and trees can be a transformative and rejuvenating experience when you let yourself bask in complete wonder and awe There really is profound healing that comes from nature bathing and spending time in the great outdoors. There is something distinctly wonderment inspiring about cottonwood trees. They can grow in places almost no other tree can grow in and around abundant sources of water. For many, these trees symbolize regeneration growth, protection, and abundance because of where they thrive and grow big. For us, each cottonwood tree seems to have a story to tell if we listen. It's summer snow. It's cottonwood snow. It's really tripping. If you've ever been around cottonwood trees in June, you have likely witnessed cotton-like fluffy snow falling from the sky. You just have to be careful because if you keep your mouth open like, wow, you might swallow something, but it's really pretty. It's nature. Cottonwood trees have an almost magical way of spreading their seeds all around. Want to see a snow drift? No drip! <laughs> Rather than the tree dropping its seeds around its base, 
The seeds are released within this fluffy white cotton-like fluff that allows the seeds, with help from the wind, to fly and spread for miles. In addition to being wonderment seekers and filmmakers, we are professional artists who create one-of-a-kind, nature and wildlife-inspired art. While we make most of our art in our traveling tiny house on wheels art studio, today we have come to this park to seek inspiration and truth while nature bathing and making our art. We are making our jewelry here at Wallawa River. It's so beautiful. And I'm making salmon because I mean, like taking the river energy and pouring it into our artwork, the salmon is pretty special. The awe, radical amazement, and absolute wonderment we feel when we spend time in the great outdoors observing and appreciating nature and wildlife directly inspires all of our one-of-a-kind art creations. We pour our love and joy we feel for animals and nature into our multimedia creations. Our lightweight hanging ornament sculptures and wearable art jewelry of painted and varnished paper with wire and beads our collaborative works of art passed back and forth between the two of us, from initial designs all the way through to final creations. Our fascination with nature and our curiosity as artists inspired us to create our original concept and unique art process. In addition to our sculptural works, we also enjoy painting nature scenes. we create from a rainbow palette of colors. Nature inspires us to feel wonderment, and that wonderment inspires us to make art to share with the world. Our vision as artists is that our art inspires people to feel wonderment for nature and wildlife. On something very special that inspires so much wonderment is a classical pianist uh, playing on a grand piano here in Malawa Lake uh, State Park as part of a traveling tour that used to be called In a Landscape. And it was pretty special because there's earphones that you put on to be able to hear the music um, from wherever because when he talks or even when he's playing you don't hear it without anything. It's very undisruptive to the sound environment, but yet with earphones you're like hearing all of this beautiful music and all the details and it's just really incredible and inspiring in such a beautiful and wondrous place.
Our day at Wallawa Lake State Park was filled with wonder, nature, and art. As wonderment seekers traveling North America with a traveling tiny house on wheels, we are on a mission to share our finding wonder journey and inspiring ideas and stories with you. We encourage you to get outside, find something to appreciate, something that inspires you to feel wonder. It may be tiny or grand, size doesn't matter. If something, anything inspires you to feel awe, amazement, or gratitude, it's a wonderment. We are traveling full time with our custom wooden RV tiny house on wheels, and we are sharing our adventures, experiences, challenges, and wonderments with you in regular video episodes. Right now, our video episodes are published fairly delayed from our real time experiences and locations. If you want to find out what we are up to and where we are in our travels in present moment, current time, then become a patron of Sea Tree Wonder on Patreon. Your monthly monetary support, even if small, will help and make it possible for us to dedicate more time to creating and sharing these inspiring video episodes more frequently. And we share updates with you regularly through fun, inspiring, and live time posts, photos, messages, and video updates. Become a Sea Tree Wonder patron and make a meaningful impact in our lives as dedicated artists. Visit Sea Tree Wonder on Patreon or click on the link in the description below. 